Greetings, YouTube. This is going to be a two-parter. The first part I'm going to talk about is that you need to vote. Don't listen to polls. Don't listen to experts. Um, there was an open letter from a couple of retired generals uh, trying to convince the uh, the chiefs of staff, um, joint chiefs of staff, that a the shit given does in fact get voted out that they have to make sure he leaves. And they were talking about the fact that they predict, they personally predict that Biden has a 91% chance of, uh, of winning. Don't listen to them either. Vote against the shit given. Too many people stayed home when Clinton was up running for office because they thought she was a shoe in They thought there's no possible way that that fucking moron is going to get elected president. And too many people stayed home and too many people just didn't show up because they didn't think it was going to matter. And guess what we got? The worst possible president in the history of the United States of America. So don't listen to anybody. If you're heading to a poll because you want to or because you have to, get there, be safe, vote for Biden. If you're going to vote absentee, make sure you're registered. Make sure you got your ballot already and send it out with a 21-day window because the shit given is intentionally slowing down the post office and he's admitted this because he doesn't want those votes counted. Not to mention that he's trying, he's going to basically essentially completely disenfranchise the military who all vote absentee if they're overseas. And in the meantime... He's killing Americans who can't get their medication in the mail in a timely manner because he's slowing them down. So he's trying to steal an election, and he's killing Americans. I mean, not not all. I mean, he's already killing all the ones from the COVID. We know that because he fired the pandemic team and because he did nothing. And uh, it appears that one of the reasons he did nothing initially is that the most that the Places where people were dying the most were blue states. And he didn't have a problem if people in blue states died. That was okay. What, is, what does he care, right? But here's the second part. Trust the post office. Don't trust the GOP. The post office has got your back. They're going to do everything in their power, regardless of what the shit given does, to stop them, to get your ballot to where it needs to go. Now, some cities actually have ballot boxes. They're, they're dedicated for putting in absentee ballots. You know, they're kind of drive-by ones with a little uh, shoots. You just drive up and you put the Put your mail in there. They have ballot boxes like that. They're dedicated just for ballots. Not every city has those. I know I checked my city. We don't have them. Um, so if you are going to mail it in and you don't have a ballot box, make sure that, you know, it's all everything signed and sealed and all the stuff on it is done correctly. Read all the instructions because there's a envelope you have to sign and you have to put, that, put it in another envelope and you have to... Make sure it's got proper postage. You make every make sure every T is crossed and every I is dotted. Read the instructions, follow them, do it right. Okay, you got one shot at this. Make sure it's a good one. Okay, check for windage. Take your time before you pull that trigger. Um, but other things you can do is besides the twenty-one day window, is if you have a post office near you that you can get to. I know that some people can't because they don't have vehicles and they live in places where there may not be a post office readily available. But if you do, drop your mail off at the post office. Now, my post office, the one that's closest physically to me, has, has one of those drive-up boxes. So I don't have to even go into the, it physically go in there and contact anybody. All we got to do is drive up, drop it in there, and it's right outside the building. That post office box will be emptied. And no one's ever going to remove that post office box. It's on U.S postal soil. So that one's safe. But particularly if you are a minority in America, find a post office box that is in the whitest, most affluent neighborhood you can find and 
pool your ballots and drop them in that box because that box will get emptied and counted. Yes, it will. Because the shit given is hoping that those white people will vote for him. Even though college educated white people are less likely to vote him for him than un uh, than college uh, people without college degrees. Uh, I wanted to say uneducated. The reality is yes. Because if you're a racist, you're uneducated. Um, so those are things you can do to make sure that your ballot gets counted. Because going to a polling station is bloody scary right now. I know. I, I mean, I'm within three blocks of my polling station. I'm not going there. I do not want to be exposed to potential infection and death. And this is not the first time I've done absentee. The first time uh, I did it was, uh, actually the last time I did it, I only done it once, but that was because it happened to fall the same week I was on my honeymoon. And I was not going to be at a polling station during my honeymoon. So we mailed our ballots out like a, two weeks before before the, the, the wedding. So they were long gone before we left. Um, so you don't have to have a pandemic to have an absentee ballot. Though I personally think that you should be able to vote via mail for any reason whatsoever. You should have no, you should not have to have an excuse. You just want to do it, you do it. There should be no justification for it. Now, how do you know that the post office is safe? Well, let's look at what the post office does. You send, they send IDs and passports through the post office. I got my license through the post office. The post office handles trillions of dollars over the years when it comes to sending out checks. The post office is trusted. They handle important, vital pieces of mail, sensitive pieces of mail, and the United States government has trusted them for centuries. It's also important to remember that the post office is actually coded into our Constitution. It's in the Constitution. It is not just some ancillary aspect of the country. No, no. It is very baked very much into the DNA of America. But you know the most important reason you can trust the post office to get your vote counted? Because the president is using a mail-in ballot. Yes, the man who's telling you that the post office cannot be trusted is himself mailing in his vote. Obviously, the shit given's going to vote for himself, but he's still using the post office. He trusts the post office to do their job, even though he's hamstringing them, even though he's removing post office boxes from the streets, even though he's removing sorting machines from post office sorting centers. He is attempting to disenfranchise as many Americans as possible. And that's silly, because there are places that are very much red states that are going to be hurt by his actions just as much as the blue states will, because he's a very stupid man. That after his, beyond his fingertips, the universe doesn't exist. He is like a toddler. If he can't reach out and touch it, it doesn't exist. He's not smart. Never has been. He was raised into privilege. He's never had to do a goddamn thing in his entire life. And he spent the entire time lying and cheating to get his way. At best, he's a con man. He also happens to be a racist and a fascist. Besides being a homophobe and a transphobe and a misogynist and a sexual predator. He's admitted that. Um, but yeah, he's admitted to being a racist and to, a, and, and, and to being a fascist. So, yeah, he's got that going for him, I guess, right? And in closing, in the event that there are any people that support the shit given this far into my video, we're at the nine minute mark, um, fuck you. Fuck you all goddamn day long. If you support the GOP in 2020, you support fascism. You support white supremacy. 
You are a shitty human being. Period. And I don't hate you for who you are. I hate you for your goddamn actions. I hate you for your words, for your actions, for the policies and agendas and ideologies that you support. If you would just stop doing these things, I could care less what you do with the rest of your life. You, you go... Just live your life out, live to a hundred years, I don't care if you stop doing what you're doing. But if you're going to vote for a fucking fascist, fuck you. You are shitting on the Constitution just like your president does. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you vote for the president of the United States of America in 2020, you are an asshole.